Now, this is the final end of the Wiper Party leader Kalonzo Musyoka's political career ahead of the 2027 general elections. Kalonzo Musyoka is finished completely, politically speaking. Because Kalonzo Musyoka was really depending on the former head of state, Uhuru Muge Kenyatta's endorsement in the 2027 general elections, so that at least Kalonzo Musyoka can secure the votes from the larger Mount Kenya region through Uhuru Muge Kenyatta. Uhuru Kenyatta is still popular in the Mount Kenya region and can still determine the politics of the 2027 general elections. Kalonzo Musyoka's political calculations were going on very well because Kalonzo Musyoka had Uhuru Kenyatta on his side. Kalonzo Musyoka also had Jeremia Kioni as the Jubilee Party Secretary General on his side. Even Eugene Wamalwa is on the side of Kalonzo Musyoka, supporting Kalonzo Musyoka in the 2027 general elections, including the former Deputy President, Rigadi Gashagwa himself. You know, after Rigadi Gashagwa's impeachment, Rigadi Gashagwa officially joined Kalonzo Musyoka. But it seems that things are no longer the same. The frustrations have already started for Kalonzo Musyoka after Uhuru Muge Kenyatta himself personally made a sudden U-turn. Now, this is what I've always been talking about. That if the former head of state, Uhuru Kenyatta, when he was the president of the Republic of Kenya for 10 good years, failed terribly to make Raila Odinga to be the president of the Republic of Kenya, the fifth president, in the previous 2022 general elections, then there is no way that Uhuru Kenyatta can make Kalonzo Musyoka to be the sixth president of the Republic of Kenya to defeat President William Samuel Araputo and Raila Odinga combined the broad-based government in the 2027 general elections. That will not be possible at all. But there is one very dangerous political mistake that the former head of state Uhuru Kenyatta has totally been avoiding ahead of the 2027 general elections. Uhuru Kenyatta has been avoiding the embarrassment and the humiliation. The former head of state Uhuru Kenyatta does not want to be embarrassed again and also to be humiliated again in the 2027 general elections by President William Samuel Araputo. Like what happened in the previous 2022 general elections when Uhuru Kenyatta endorsed Raila Odinga's presidential bid, but he was humiliated, he was embarrassed by President William Ruto. Uhuru Kenyatta will not allow that to happen again. And that is why this time round, Uhuru Kenyatta will support their own. Let me give you the details. Because that is the real reason as to why Uhuru Kenyatta has once again publicly rejected Kalonzo Musyoka's endorsement in the 2027 general elections. Uhuru Kenyatta has officially pulled out of Kalonzo Musyoka. And the former deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, Rigadi Gashagwa himself, who has officially joined Uhuru Muge Kenyatta after his impeachment, and Jeremia Kioni, delivered Uhuru Kenyatta's shocking message to Kalonzo Musyoka. And the message goes like this, that in the 2027 general elections, the Mount Kenya region, the Kikuyus, will have 
a presidential candidate. That presidential candidate will be endorsed by the former head of state, Uhuru Bugay Kenyatta himself. Kalonzo Usioka must listen to Rigathi Gashagwa's message very keenly. Because remember that Rigathi Gashagwa is well known as the truthful man. So before you listen to this particular statement here, by Rigathi Gashagwa himself, just a quick reminder that if you are listening to me and you haven't subscribed to this channel, for you to be able to receive more political updates and daily political analysis from this channel, I want you to take only one second or two and subscribe down below. You can also give this video a like so that YouTube can recommend this video and this channel to reach out to more people. That is the only way we can improve this channel to grow. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. You can also support this channel through the till number that you're seeing on your screen. 3024302. Thank you so much for your support. Now let us proceed. And I want you to listen to this message from Rigadi Gashagwa. Even though he speaks in Kikuyu language, but there is a translation on your screen. Just listen. <laughs> Regarding Shagwa's message is very clear because he has said that after President William Ruto's betrayal, you know, William Ruto was really trusted by the Kikuyus in the previous 2022 general elections. But after William Ruto has betrayed the Mount Kenya region, the Kikuyus will henceforth be very, very careful when choosing friends. Never again, come rain, come sunshine, will the Mount Kenya region trust anyone, any politician. So Kalonzo Musioka is at a very, very high risk. So first of all, there is a new political formation, I mean a new political party that is already being crafted in the Mount Kenya region. That political party will have a presidential candidate in the 2027 general elections to face President William Samoy Arapruto. And all the politicians, all the leaders from the larger Mount Kenya region will be forced to join that particular party or else they will risk losing elections. So I want us to wait and see if the majority of the leaders from the Mount Kenya region will actually dump, will exit from UDA party and dump President William Ruto to join this particular party here. So my question here is, do you really think that Kalonzo Musioka will still accept to deputize another leader from the larger Mount Kenya region in the 2027 general elections? Let us wait and see if Kalonzo Musioka will accept to deputize another leader, another person from the Mount Kenya region. Number two, the former head of state, Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta, rejected Kalonzo Musioka's endorsement because Kalonzo Musioka will lose the 2027 general elections to President William Samuel Araputo. Uhuru Kenyatta understands, Uhuru Kenyatta knows President William Ruto very well. They have worked together. And in the previous 2022 general elections, President William Ruto humiliated both Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga. So Uhuru understands that there is no way, no matter what will happen, Kalonzo cannot defeat 
President William Ruto and Raila Odinga combined in the 2027 general elections. Just like I had said it earlier on, this broad-based government between President William Ruto and Raila Odinga will be a political wave in the 2027 general elections. Any leader who will not be associated with the broad-based government has high chances of losing the 2027 general elections. So let us wait and see. And thirdly, also finally, it is all about the Mount Kenya region billionaires. And I came across a certain statement. You know, these Mount Kenya businessmen, the Mount Kenya region billionaires, are associated with the former head of state, Uhuru Kenyatta. The Mount Kenya region billionaires actually financed Raila Odinga in the previous 2022 general elections. So this statement that I came across says that these Mount Kenya billionaires are ready to finance Rigathi Gashagwa to mobilize, to unite the Mount Kenya region. And I was asking myself, why not finance or fund Kalonzo Musioka ahead of the 2027 general elections? Because clearly Kalonzo Musioka needs a lot of money for his presidential bid in the 2027 general elections. If the Mount Kenya region billionaires cannot finance Kalonzo Musioka for his presidential bid, then there is no way Kalonzo Musioka can win the 2027 general elections because Kenya's politics are very, very expensive. To run a presidential bid is not a joke. So let us wait and see how things will turn out to be. But this time round, the former head of state, Uhuru Kenyatta, will not endorse Kalonzo Musioka's presidential bid. Instead, Uhuru Kenyatta will endorse their own in the Mount Kenya region. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more political updates. Ladies and gentlemen, let me see you again in the next video analysis. But remember, my name is Jason. Bye-bye and have a good day. Thank you.